Hi, Adam. Uh, this video is basically for you. Uh, let's see what we can cover quickly here because I got to put my kids to bed actually. This is a Group 86 battery, an interstate from Costco. Um, and so I think you can, hopefully, you can see the numbers there. It fits. Just right, just like the old one did, just barely under this this bracket. In fact, it sits a hair high because I have some some battery uh, padding underneath it. I may not should have done that, but that's all right. It's done, uh, and, and it, it has sit there nicely. You know, I don't have it squeezed down. There's no deformation of the battery because of it. Uh, but that was you know a supposed direct replacement for for what was in there. Um, <clears throat> I'd like to replace this or these two, but I never asked. I don't, I don't know what the cost is or anything. Um, this was, I don't know, when I got this machine in 17 or 18 or something, when I first started out, was I think $85 from Vermeer. And so it's getting a little deformed. Last year I bought some stock, I forget what size, to cut up some new ones and keep two and maybe sell two or three on Fleabay or something. Um, and so I haven't done that yet, but when the need arises, I probably will. I'm sorry, I don't have the measurements. Um... I can get back to you on that if you want. Uh, I can, when I send you manuals or something via email, I can do that too. I have some 252 manuals. Uh, the Napa filter, I, th I think the number's 1551. You can see it upside down there. It's Napa filter. I'm running the um, Amsoil synthetic hydraulic oil. I forget the exact name, but it was uh, ultimately... Um, it was a, a cross. I found a viscosity chart, and it was a direct cross for whatever I'm supposed to use in here. Uh, under here, the reason for the synthetic fluid is, um, I think, a three and a half inch pulley. You know, I went to four first. I think stock is five or six, and so I went to four, and then to three and a half. Some guys have have went down to three, um, and the the purpose is to, you know, you can increase travel speed for getting to the job, but the purpose is really to increase swing speed of the head. Um, and so bringing me to the next point, right? So, you know, you do that, you can be a little more productive. Also making us more productive. And Adam, I'm not sure what the issue is with your machine, but, uh, I have this permanently disconnected on purpose because I find, I think a lot of other guys with the, with a slightly turned up 252 find that, um, the auto sweep slows us down. It kind of turns on at the low end barrier of high productivity, if you call it, you know, when you're, when you're removing a lot of wood. And so it turns on when you're really in the, in the groove sometimes. You may be in the, the bottom of the groove, but it, it turns on. And if, uh, if you're experienced enough, you can typically avoid a, a jam up, you know? Uh, I'll admit at first, I jammed it up a few times. Now, it doesn't happen so much, only when I get greedy, you know? Uh, and so, I live with that off. I'm not sure what your problem is, but I, I might recommend, I think you're, you're starting your son off with this machine or something. Let, let him do it. You know, try it. I, I, I didn't at first. I had the advantage. It's, it looks like yours is stuck on. That's what I think. I think yours is stuck on. I wish I knew why, but I don't. Um, but the hydro pump pulley mod in conjunction with the green teeth that I think you're about to do, it's just six teeth. Um, having that thing off all the time is great. It's super great. Uh, I, it, you know, it's, I, I lived with it for a little while and it would slow me down quite a bit. Um, and so another note about the teeth to keep going. I flip these every 30 minutes to an hour, sometimes a little more, I guess, depending on, on, on the wood. Uh, but I certainly flip them and then change them and then flip them and change them again in a, in a full day, sometimes more if they're taking a beating. And it's, it's I think it's totally worth it for, the productivity that I get to live with because of what amounts to 20 or 30 minutes of work a day. And so I think that covers everything. I'm not sure. It's the second time I made this video. I missed a couple things the first time. Um, so send me an email, Adam. I sent you one about a sticker. I don't think it's come in yet, but, uh, Make sure I got the right email, and I will send you all the manuals I have too, okay? And I will uh, put a comment and put this video on YouTube for you and whoever else might find it useful.